Thoughts on uh, That's a good fight, but like I told him, I can't make that. I make a prediction on that fight until after I see Spence versus Porter. Right. Spence versus Porter will answer any questions you got about Spence mm -hmm. because I haven't seen Spence in a big fight yet. Spence looks wonderful to me. I'm not gonna lie, he looks good. Right. And I heard about his sponsorship session with Mayweather and all that, and that's all sounds good, but under the lights is different. You understand me? So I need to see you work under the lights against a guy like a Sean Porter. Now I can evaluate how you look under the lights and say what I think about if you fight Terrence Crawford. Right now, I know what Terrence Crawford is. I don't know what Spence is. You understand me? Not a knock on either one of them, but Crawford been around long. Crawford been in the ring with the Gamboas of the world, the Ray Beltrans of the world, Blaster. <laughs> so I know what he does with top notch competition. But I ain't seen Spence really. Mikey Garcia is top notch, but he's two weight classes lighter. So I can't judge you off of Mikey Garcia. I gotta see you against another one week. Sean Porter, I can make some judgments on. Right, and your and once again, now? once again, this is not a knock on nobody. No, not it's just that I have not seen him yet. Okay? Mm -hmm. When I see him against a good top notch fighter, now I can make my judgment better because now I know what he is, what he does under the lights. <laughs> You understand? And I can make my, my decision, or at least I can give you my analysis of it. So, do any of you know what that means? That means, as of right now, Roy Jones Jr. favors Terrence Crawford to beat Errol Spence because Errol Spence doesn't have enough body of work for Roy Jones Jr. to make a sound assessment of who would win the fight. He said he's seen what Terrence Crawford can do against top-notch fighters, but he hasn't seen Errol Spence fight a top-notch fighter. And he can't give him credit for Mikey Garcia because he came up to weight classes. Okay? That's facts and that's his truth. It's his truth because it's his opinion and once you're asking that man his opinion and what's he think about the fight, he's telling you how he would go about judging who he would pick, and Earl Spence does not have the body of work. He don't got it. Okay? He does not got the body of work. But he's seen what Terrence Crawford can do against top-notch fighters. So he's saying Terrence Crawford has the better resume. And this is the killing part about all this. A lot of people make videos talking about Roy Jones Jr. hating on Earl Spence resume. First of all, mark that man because that's a fanboy. That's a straight up fanboy along with a couple of other things. Okay? Roy Jones Jr. was as straight down the middle as a person could be. Okay? He was straight down the middle. And if those people would notice the same thing he said about Earl Spence, he said the same thing about um, Sean Porter. He said, I can't tell you with Sean Porter. Really, is. He, he said even Sean Porter hasn't been in uh, or fight any real contenders. That's what he said. Okay, so where's the outcry from the Sean Porter fans or something like that? This is the thing. Roy Jones has never came across as a hater. He's never went out his way to say a hater. Everybody's uh, rallying and jump behind him as long as his comment is pro PBC pro charlo pro errol spence and pro wilder you can get behind him but the second he has a uh independent thought uh a a independent opinion it's a problem and he was straight down the middle and you can't get no fairer than what he is if you ask the man's opinion he said i haven't seen enough of errol spence to be able to give a fair assessment of the fight he could have just came out and said terrence crawford will beat him how about that now would that be hating men because he said, I can't tell you because I got to see what Earl Spence is. Giving the man a benefit of the doubt. But Earl Spence has not had a body of work. So, you, so do you know what that says? As much as Earl Spence like to believe all road leads to him. No, all roads leads through Terrence Crawford. Because Earl Spence is not going to get a chance to breathe until he fights Terrence Crawford. Because there's no pressure on Terrence Crawford to fight Earl Spence. Because nobody views Terrence Crawford as ducking. All the pressure is on Earl Spence's side. That's where all the pressure is coming from. Okay? So while he's thinking he's this, he's thinking he's that, your career is nothing until you fight Terrence Crawford. And the same thing for Terrence Crawford, a little bit, but not necessarily, not as much as Spence. And that's how he feels about it. Now, this is Roy Jones. And how can we not take 
a man who's been in dominant and has been such a uh, um, a force in boxing, such a superstar in boxing. You know, he's speaking in his own profession about another professional that's in the same profession that he is, and somehow what he has to say holds no water because it doesn't hold Errol Spence up in a positive light. No, it holds Errol Spence in a realistic light. You guys got to stop doing that. You can be a fan of a person and not be a fangirl. You can do that, but it don't get no fairer than what Roy Jones Jr. said. It just doesn't. And this is the thing. I have studied the matchmaking criteria over there at the PBC. I know exactly how they pit their opponents, okay? The only way you get a fight with them if you're on a layoff or you're a layup, period. You either laid off, you're a layup, or you're coming up several weight classes. They don't make fights with other fighters unless there's a disadvantage present. Let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. Everybody knew Kell Brook was a broken man. Kell Brook is a good fighter, but he's a broken fighter. He's done. He's done. Over the bomb and all that was broken prior and everything else. All right. Mikey Garcia coming up to weight classes. Okay. Let's look at the other PBC fighters. Tank Davis, several opponents coming up to weight classes. And let me use the ducker of all duckers for the best example. Do you remember when Deontay Wilder made his title defense? I don't I don't remember exactly what title defense it was, but it was the, the title defense where Tyson Fury jumped up in the ring and he challenged Deontay Wilder. And Jim Gray, my man Jim Gray, once again stepped to Wilder and said, who do you want to fight? Are you going to fight Tyson Fury, Ale Alexander Pervecki, or Charles Martin? What did Deontay Wilder say? Uh, I would like to fight Tyson Fury, but unfortunately, I have mandatory duties to take care of. It's documented. It's on record, so you can't say I'm lying. You know why? Because that was a prime Tyson Fury. That's not the Tyson Fury he wanted. They wanted the Tyson Fury that came off the couch. They wanted the Tyson Fury who had uh, mental depression. They wanted the uh, coke-addicted Tyson Fury. Now they want to take the fight. Let me give you another example. The Luis Ortiz aged out and didn't pass the fucking medical and they still let him fight and this is the guy who he wants to give you a rematch for are you starting to get the pattern here how it works over there the only way you get a fight with these guys is if you are at a clear disadvantage they got to be weight bullying you you got to be on a layoff or you got to be a layup tell me i am lying because I can literally make a video breaking down how they picked their opponents and what was wrong with them at the time that they picked them. Okay, that's the criteria over there. Real talk. So when Roy Jones Jr. said he doesn't have a resume, the boy ain't got the resume. I'm pretty sure Roy Jones Jr. going to be called a hater. And a coon. I'm pretty sure. You know, but... He only thing he did was keep it 100. Okay, he told the truth and he gave his opinion. And if you ask me by wording it like that, that's him giving Errol Spence the benefit of the doubt. How many fights deep is Errol Spence? Don't you think being that many fights deep, somebody like Roy Jones Jr. should be able to tell something about him? He still don't know what he's looking at. He still don't know. And let me couple that in with everybody else that I criticize, all right? I'm just like Roy Jones. The only way I can access you is by you fighting somebody on your level. That's the same pressure I put on Lomachenko. That's the same pressure I put on Triple G. That's the same pressure I put on Wilder. That's the same pressure. I don't know what I'm looking at until you fight somebody who can pickle you, who can make you have to work. That's when I'll know what kind of fighter you are. But until then, I do not know. And that's just the real. And that's all Roy Jones Jr. is saying. And if you don't like what he's saying, you can't blame Roy Jones Jr. for the way his resume looks. Claim the fame was Chris Algier. Right after Chris Algier, it was Kell Brook. Okay? He want to say Mikey Garcia, but he can't and he know he can't because he know he ain't got the right to try to 
uh, use that as any type of bragging rights. And he shouldn't have, they shouldn't have fought in the first fucking place. If, if you think about it, the Mikey Garcia, Errol Spence fight was a waste of time. It held up too much shit. Other fights could have taken place that'll get us closer to uh, unifying or get us close to uh, the Crawford Spence fight. That was actually a waste of fucking time. We all knew how it was going. At least we suspected we all knew how, how it was going to go. It didn't go how we thought it would go, but the person that we thought win did win. But that was a waste of time. You know, and that's all they're doing, stalling you out. Period. But it's nothing wrong with Roy Jones said. And if you listen to Roy Jones said, he's basically saying in a nutshell that he favors Terrence Crawford to beat Errol Spence. And Terrence Crawford has the better resume. And at this point, in 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 his eyes, truly, all roads lead through Terrence Crawford. And while Errol Spence is trying to chase an A-side and all that stuff, I said it before. Crawford don't care about that A-side, side shit. He just wanna fight you. That's a fighter. Anyways, those are my thoughts. Leave your thoughts in the conversation. Bruce Vane, I'm out.